I've got something in here for the kids. Surprise. Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. Why is my camera all off cocked up? We've got some fun stuff that I, Eli's helping shed out sangria here. She had kind of a bad shed and she might be, she's looking gravid based on the way the spine is right here. Good job, Eli. Speaking of short tail pythons, when I was at Tinley, I got this book from, book, it's a calendar. You guys know Brittany Gobble? Fantastic example of a human being and also a wonderful photographer. Blood Python calendar for 2023. I'll put a link in the description if you want a cool Blood Python calendar. So listen, I've got a surprise for the kids today. They have the day off from school, so I'm gonna take them out, Hillary and I, and we're gonna do something awesome for them and with them. And I need to put out some rodents to thaw because we're feeding snakes tonight. But let's go. I'm getting a whole bunch off. Remember, start at the front. Freedom Ritter rack shelf, super convenient. You need one. Thanks, baby. It's fine. You're gonna get lost. Do you wanna get lost? Not be able to have food? No! Doing a great job. Give him a hand, folks. Back. You want water? Yeah! Her tail was wagging like a little doggy. Hey Noah. What? What do you know? I know blood. Wait, I think I've already done one about blend. I know dead rats. What about dead rats? That they're sitting right there. They're not cute when they're dead, and they're kind of cute when they're alive. They come in lots of different sizes, and that's all I know. Not all I know, but that's all I feel like saying right now. And I got a piece of shed for you, Daddy. Getting out for a little morning hike, get the legs moving and stuff. We're gonna go and try and play some pickleball. I've been teaching the boys how to play pickleball, but the courts are full because there's too many old people around here that like to play pickleball. <laughs> we need more courts. Yeah, I was trying to keep the legs moving. Not too much though, because I biked 30 miles yesterday, played an hour and a half of pickleball in between the biking, and the day before that ran 10 miles with some of my fastest miles ever. Seven minute, 12 mile. Just gearing up for this Spartan race that's coming up. Next weekend, which by the way, let me know if you guys want to see any video of that. It's supposed to be like a half marathon with about 30 obstacles and should be a pretty good challenge. Getting out, making it happen before we take the kids for their, their surprise. Heel, heel. Stop pulling the leash, heel. Good. Still in my pajamas. So what was your reason for wanting to come out and hike? Uh, because they've been very irritated with my children lately and kind of snapping at them and getting, just feeling irritable. This helps, except when your kid comes up to you and tries to hand you their jacket, throw it at you. <sighs> tie it around your own waist. He's like, can you tie it around your waist? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Reality. We're gonna get Hillary a mommy day soon.
Lily's in there taking a little nap. We're back home from the hike, obviously, and getting ready to go for our little surprise for the kids. Um, and I just wanted to read this for you guys. It's out of Ephesians, which is a book that Paul wrote to the city of Ephesus to encourage the church there. Um, but it's just this line right here. It's uh, Ephesians 6, 4. And you, fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in the training and admonition of the Lord. Now, what that means is to submit in kindness to your children. It, when, that, when that was written, it was the Jewish families at the time. Uh, the father was definitely one who ruled with an iron fist. There wasn't much thought given to how the kids or the, or the wife was doing. And it was more, you know, just that. Just kind of like a, I don't know if you want to call it toxic masculinity or whatever. I don't, I don't really like that phrase, so I'm not going to call it that. Let's call it uh, ruling with an iron fist. And it's one of the small lessons that I'm learning because uh, I definitely ruled a bit with an iron fist in my fatherhood and I'm, I'm changing that a bit. You know, I have my kind moments, sure, but um, more and more making that the norm of our family is to do that. And so this, this surprise for the kids is kind of an example for them to live by. You know, it's like you, you read this stuff and then putting it into real practice in your life is, is where I think the true fruit comes from. Uh, you know, reading it and understanding is one thing, to practice it is a whole other thing. So, I mean, part of it is this, I'm, you know, Hillary's not quite ready to go and we don't have all the time in the world, but, but that's okay because it's submitting to each other. The whole lesson of that entire chapter and maybe that, that whole section of the book of Ephesians is encouraging folks to submit to each other, you know, whether it's wives to husbands or husbands to wives or just people to people loving each other and the example that was set for them by Christ. And so that's, that's kind of what today's about. Thanks for listening. A while ago. Hello. <laughs>